Good afternoon and welcome to Bosnian Agile Week. It is a great honor to be on this conference with some of the top people from this industry. Thank you all of you who are attending on this session. Remember, this is the first Bosnian Agile conference that you can attend the entry conference while it's in your pajamas. My name is Elvis Pivic and I'm currently working as a consultant in the Agile management and digital transformation. I'm also proud to be a core member of the Bosnian Agile team. I would not like to waste your time on my introduction. If you want more about me, you can visit my LinkedIn profile and if you are going to stay in contact with me, you can edit me on LinkedIn, Twitter or send me an email to these two email addresses. What I still want to share with you and resolve the dilemma if you have had it so far is that the origin of my name is not American, it is Scandinavian and meaning the old vice. So this session is not only about the design screen, it is also about wisdom. Most of you might be familiar with the sprint concept from the age of software development. I hope so you are. Uh, we, uh, where it refers to a set period of time during which specific work has to be done and submitted for review. Uh, similarly, uh, the design sprint is a time box uh, which concentrates the focus of the product team around a specific problem solving goal. Uh, the methodology was developed at the Google Venture as a way to help startups solve problems and test ideas faster. The sprint answering critical business questions through design, prototyping and testing ideas with the customers <coughs> or end users. So whoever working on a daily basis on the project development, solving problem and at some point uh, we all want to believe that we are just about to reach it our uh, eureka moment uh, the moment when uh, light breaks uh, cloud parts and all those month, months of thinking planning rethinking and replanning finally pay off in the form of the perfect solution to our problem except that day never comes and then we are back to countless meeting we go perspiring towards perfection has a certain romantic appeal uh, but ultimately, uh, it robs us uh, of the thing we want most, which is progress. This lecture is designed to provide to uh, product designers, product managers, marketers, business leaders uh, their first introduction to better method for getting things done. But first, a quick look why I'm delighted with the design sprint. Who doesn't love a good team brainstorms, right? Uh, fresh sharpies, wild product pitches, free food, if you are lucky. Um, it feels good, it feels creative, and even if, it, even if it leads nowhere. I was one such believer in brainstorms until I dared to, my, uh, to ask myself, how do we know they are actually working? So, as it turns out, there is a ton of evidence to suggest they are not. And also, while reviewing the outcomes of my own brainstorms, I found that uh, all the ideas uh, that we were built or launched came from the focused solo work. So, uh, unstructured brainstorms tend to reward extroverts, punish introverts, and prioritize quant quantity over the quality. So my summary was that they are a poor, poor choice for generating useful solution. Um, so I started to search, searching out for the other best practices and better methodologies. And I found out about the book called The Design Sprint. The author of the book is the Jake Knapp. The Jake Knapp previously worked for the Google Venture. His mission was clear. Uh, designing a process that combined the benefits of the group work the various opinions and experts with the benefits of the visual work. And so the design sprint as a methodology was born. Here are the top reasons you should use the design sprint approach instead. First one is that the group work and the individual work can peacefully and productively coexist in a sprints. So structured uh, time exercise, exercise encourage diverse perspectives and develop ideas, develop it ideas. Uh, you get a tangible, repeatable problem solving process that you can use at will to push your business idea forward. 
Also, getting real feedback from your target users means you can champion design based on data rather than than bias or intuition. Uh, you can secure buy-in from stakeholders from the beginning before investing or wasting lots of time and money. And you walk away with the prototype tested solution. So the question is, are the uh, design sprint concept is good for every problem uh, we have? Uh, the answer is no. If you are faced with a low impact or overly broad challenge, sprints are not the best option for that. <coughs> Here are the some areas where you should definitely choose sprints. So, designing digital or phys physical products. Design sprints cut out months of strategy and planning discussions. That, uh, this means that you don't have to rely on creative intuition or divine intervention to pick the perfect package design. You can rapidly prototype and get real insights on what works. You can use it in making customer care. So, uh, words matter, right? And while you may have your winning product ready to ship, knowing how to sell it, uh, it is another matter entirely. So the design sprint exercise uh, can help you create and test broader marketing campaigns so you know what your audience like. Uh, you can use it in hiring the right people. So the sprints can help you uh, make better decisions uh, about people how uh, the Google's uh, HR team used the design sprint methodology to um, uh, help uh, build uh, a unified vision in their hiring process. So their goal was to identify the key values they carried about when making hiring decision and incorporate those into their software service, which is called the G Hire. Also, I use it uh, in the concept of the business idea development or even in business process improvement. Now that you have the theory behind why and when we choose to sprint, we'll jump into the how uh, it's actually done. The design sprint methodology is a five-day process in the origin uh, in the GV uh, for testing ideas and solving complex problems. The following overview will, uh, uh, quick, uh, will give you a quick intro to all the exercise from the updated version of the Design Sprint 2.0. So the Design Sprint 2.0 is made in AJ Smarts, which is uh, ultimately uh, super, uh, super cut of the original uh, week-long sprint. So one of the biggest difference between the original version of, uh, of Design Sprint and the Design Sprint 2.0 is that uh, 2.0 is optimized uh, to work not just in the startups but also in a large organization that may not uh, not be able to commit a full week. The only up uh, the only update approved by Sprint inventor Jake Knapp, uh, Design uh, Sprint 2.0, shave an entry day of the process so you leave with a testable solution in just four days. Uh, your team can use the Friday to chill, paint, or whatever, but I encourage you to use it to reflect on the last few days of work with fresh and rested eyes. The principle behind the design sprint is simple. Getting started is more than important than being right. The first step of the process is planning the sprint and laying the foundation for success. At this point, it is all about defining the challenge, selecting the right people, and creating the proper environment for uh, problem solving. So you need to set the stage. An important and often overlooked part of setting the stage is defining the real problem. So making sure everyone is on the same page and that the scope of the sprint is crystal clear will greatly increase the rate of the success. The next thing we need to focus on is putting together a team of experts in different uh, areas of the business. The nature of the required expertise might vary from the project to project, but it is important to have a diverse skill set readily available for each step of the process. Ideally, your sprint team will be no more than some members. So you should choose in your team, uh, in your team some of them. like marketing expert, 
uh, the person who is skilled and at crafting your company's messaging to your customers. Uh, someone from the customer service because they interact with your customers on a regular basis and truly understand who your users or your customers are. Design expert. They design the product and help to realize the vision of the goal. Uh, tech expert. They are in the best position to understand what your company can build or deliver. Uh, financial expert. They can explain how much the project will cost and how much the company can expect to get from it uh, to get uh, from it in return. Also, the uh, two key roles that should be assigned are those of the decider and the facilitator. The decider is the one who calls the shot uh, when it comes to uh, settling debates and making final decision about what goes into the prototype. The facilitator is res responsible with managing the overall sprint by keeping the team energized and ensuring everything goes as planned. So lastly, a suitable work environment should be prepared for the week that flows. Uh, we want the team to focus on the challenge rather than dealing with the administrative duties. So this means booking a sprint room for the week preparing the right equipment and providing necessary office supplies. Now that the stage has been set, it's time to kick off the sprint. The design sprint process starting at Monday. The first part of the Monday of a design sprint is dedicated to identifying all the key challenges being faced by the client through an exercise called expert interviews. This is where company experts, usually CEOs, product owners, uh, marketing executives, other domain experts, answer questions about the nature of their business and the challenges they are facing. Um, throughout the interviews, participants create how might we statements that uh, frame state problems as potential opportunities. So, for example, uh, if the problem is that the users struggle to know what to buy for their friends as a gift, then the how might we could be uh, how might we help the users or customers to better understand what they know about their friends? Uh, expert interviews become the fertile ground from which we generate our long-term goal, so the North Star or big picture that keeps everyone moving in the same direction. The long-term goal should be as specific as possible and approved by the decider. Next, we consider what might stop us from achieving this goal, achieving the big picture, achieving the North Star. Each concern is noted as can be statement. So, uh, for example, may, uh, this is bad one, but uh, we don't have time to build uh, a new future becomes uh, can we hire more developers to help speed up the process? The answer probably will be no. Uh, the other important part of the Monday is mapping exercise. Uh, the design sprint mapping exercise helps teams identify all the user pain points along the journey and identifying a target area for your sprint. So in Monday, get the big picture and move on. Also, at the Monday, we have exercise called Lighting Demos. Lighting Demos give your team a chance to venture out into the wild and find inspiration for the design sprint. The idea here is to get people researching and thinking about all the ways they can generate the solution. This could be in the form of related product, uh, products, uh, industry insight, or somewhat unrelated but extremely inspiring. The sketching exercise is designed to get people moving around, taking notes and sketching the solution that appeal to them. How it works. Collect all the ideas that have been submitted through the day one, from how might we notes to the candy questions. And if you see something you like, draw it. The doodling phase helps identify areas that par participants find interesting. Uh, note, ugly drivings uh, ugly drivings are okay. Um, next, we move from the doodles to masterpieces. So, 
Uh, clarity and focus is everything here. Uh, your solution sketch doesn't have to be pretty, but it does have to stand on its own. To remove bias through the sprint, each sketch will be anonymized. And that's the day one done. Knowledge acquired, target locked, and sketches complete. The goal on the Tuesday of the design sprint is to have the team vote on what will be prototyped on the day three. First up, the heat map. Uh, with all those sketches are lining the walls, it's time to revisit those childhood days of yore and vote with the stickers. During the heat map phase, participants walk around the room and identify all the parts of the sketches they found most interesting, enabling hot spots to form around the most popular ideas. Now it's time for the moderator to make their way around the room, presenting the all the sticker clusters uh, uh, to the team, as well as each individual sketch. Then you need to a straw poll, a voting round, uh, voting round where everybody plays on a sticker on the solution they want to move forward with. The morning comes to a close with a decided vote, the long anticipant moment in which one or two concepts are chosen to be prototyped. This is usually a smooth as butter operation, but there is time where the decider can decide to pull the plug. The process to reach consensus on the best solution can be carried out in the five steps. First step is the so-called art museum. Uh, put all the sketches on the wall to create an art gallery. We already mentioned that the sketches should be anonymous, so the facilitator should assist with hanging, hanging them up. Heat map, the second phase. Each team member is given uh, three dots stickers to assign to the sketches or parts of the sketches that they are they found interesting. This is to be uh, this uh, is to be done in a silence. Uh, another step is to each member select a driving uh, a driving that is not their own and quickly walks through the solution, using sticky notes to capture the big ideas. Dot voting. Each team member is given one vote on the dot sticker to choose the best solution and justify their decision. And super vote, the decider make the final call with the uh, three votes, the uh, three dot stickers. At the day two, you need to create your storyboard. And after the storyboard is created, by uh, the end of the day two, you are left with the clear direction that's ready for the build phase. Also, you can tell your experts to go home because decision making is done. So, Wednesday of the design sprint is all about creating a prototype of your solution that looks and feels real. So, the secret to building a prototype is fake it. This is a key to getting user test results that reflect how your target audience would actually experience your product or service in the real world. Build day is the day when all the designers and prototypers on the deck put their hands down and get to work. To tackle the task, the sprint team should be split up into the following. Makers, usually at least two designers or engineers responsible for creating the individual components of the prototype. Stitchers, uh, either a designer or engineer should be collecting the components from the makers and combining them into the seamless fashion. Writer, Usually the product manager should be writing realistic text to ensure that the language makes sense to the users. Asset collector. They are responsible for sc uh, scoring the web and image libraries to provide photos, icons or uh, uh, rele uh, relevant content to assist the makers. And interviewer. They should write the interview scripts for customer interviews. So, whatever you're doing in that day, all building stops at 5 p.m. And the final day has arrived. A Tuesday of the Design Sprint 2.0 is dedicated to user testing. This is where we see all that hard work pay off in the form of hard evidence 
about how our target market will respond to our proposed solution. So you need to recruit uh, maximum six users or minimum six users, five plus one extra in case someone can't make. Uh, five users are more than enough uh, for uh, testing and interview process and you need to pick the users who are uh, match the profile of the target audience. You can schedule the first set, set of the test for the morning and second for the afternoon. This gives us a nice buffer zone to fix any little design problems, color changes or typos. The sprint come in a full circle when we call upon the sprint question identify on the day one to get our opportunity uh, to, uh, to, to uh, identify on the day one to guide our conversation with users on the day four. So this is our opportunity to pose all those little doubts and concerns directly to the user to see what they think. The main goal here is to keep your interviews comfortable and talking. You'll join much more valuable sprints inside with open-ended questions that give your people a chance to speak without inhibition. The key question you can pose is something uh, if this product or service was the most perfect product you'd ever use, a life-changing product, what would it need to have? What would make it the best? And so on. So, after four days of thinking, sketching, and making some hard, fast decision, you should now be in the presence of a user-tested solution. Use your, free day, uh, use your free Friday to reflect how far you've come and what happens next. For the end, the sprints are ideal uh, for solving many of the problems common to startups and corporations alike. Uh, from high-risk business challenge to new product launches or situation where you need buying from stakeholders. So the design sprints provide a framework for sketching, prototyping and testing any digital product lighting fast. The final prototype might not be uh, readily available for development, but it does allow us to understand what works and what doesn't in a short amount of time. Investing five days or uh, in updated uh, version of design uh, sprint 2.0, four days into testing uh, an idea will provide accountable insight and will eventually save you a lot of time and resource. This is one of the quickest way to innovate and validate your ideas while reducing the risks, uh, risks commonly associated with the product or service design. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this, this session. Have a nice day.